someone took exception of that cement truck coming out in front of them. It's laid down on their horn. We're going to roll the windows down and give it some fresh air. Again, this is Friday morning, October the 9th, 2020. It's now 75 degrees, 11.30 in the morning, and we've just gotten off of 75 South onto Howell Mill. Northwest Atlanta has grown tremendously over the past 15 to 20 years. If you haven't been down through here in the last 15, 20 years, and if you moved away from Atlanta back in the 70s, 80s, or even in the 90s, some of this that we're gonna be going through, you will not recognize. I think we need to go in the middle lane up here. I think this right lane has to turn I used to know these roads much better than I do. I used to be down here all the time. Yeah, that right lane had to turn. And this is Chattahoochee Avenue for anyone interested. Uh, used to be a Frankie and Johnny's. I don't think it's still down there anymore, like the old song. Uh, it was down on the left down there. We'll be coming up on uh, Atlantic Station before too long. Huff Street. The old um, fabric place there on the right, but I think it's gone now. Forsyth Fabrics, Buff Avenue, Forsyth. Okay, we're coming up on a railroad crossing right here. CSX um, freight yard, a large freight yard. All of this new construction is unreal. There's so much of it. I don't know where all the people are coming from. used to at least the time the pecans were falling there's some pecan trees up here on the right and some in a couple other places I like to come pick up pecans if you turn left right here it takes you over to the north side here's the Atlanta Waterworks to the left and right like I've noted on my other Atlanta videos I don't know that I've ever seen as many cranes working in Atlanta as you see now as you drive through. Right there we'll come through to South Atlanta Road. I think it may change once it comes inside of 285. All this stuff is new. This right here on the right isn't this 1170. this 14th this may be 14th here which would take you all the way over to Piedmont Park so I don't see a street sign and the Osmo's cut off again just by itself but I think this is 14th and it'll take you all the way over to Piedmont Park Society is up here on the left. I guess it's still here. Yeah. Right here on this corner here. I try to drive 
slow where you can see this stuff and it's hard people get right on your bumper and start trying to push you down the road I can't remember, remember what this turns into right here is this fork. Could be Marietta. Yeah, okay, Marietta Street. To the right will take you out. Um, nine changes on the, into somebody's name up here. But yeah, the, we're approaching the area right up here at this intersection where Atlanta was surrendered to Union forces on September 2nd, 1864. I don't know if I'll be able to stop and do a 360 with a point and shoot or not. How about staying in that lane over there? Good lord. You got your own lane and won't stay in it. Now history marker, unless it's been moved again or gone. It was over here on the right hand side. They moved it to the left hand side. But right here, this intersection is where, there it is on the right. They moved that history marker back there on the right. Surrender of Atlanta, September 2nd, 1864. The Confederate Army had already evacuated the city and the mayor and a delegation met um, Union forces. I'm not sure who that sign would tell us. And surrender, officially surrendered city to the Union forces, Union Army. Look at all this new stuff. Any old stuff that wasn't pushed down, they converted it to residential too. The BOA Tower, Coco Building. since I've been down here. They've expanded the um, aquarium, but the aquarium should be right down here. I used to park right in here somewhere and go to the aquarium. And I got someone behind me that's not very happy with me. I'm gonna pull over right here, jump those curbs, let them get by. Let you look at one of the old buildings here. Okay, I was thinking, this looks like Randall Brothers, Old Lumber. Old Lumber Company. You get all kind of stuff there. I think Randall Brothers has been around since about the turn of 1900, but that's just a guess on my part. I don't know. Now this, we're going to be crossing north side this is North, this is North Highland. No, I'm sorry, not North Highland. This is North Avenue we're crossing right now, I think. I'm gonna get a date on that bridge. Okay, no one's coming. 1951. There's some steps that come down, or go, come up, or come, come down from. Looks like they've made a ramp now instead of steps that were good photography subjects. Okay, we got another one on our bumper. And he's honking at us. Let's pull over and let him get by. Living in a hurried lifestyle. He's gonna run past a lot more than he'll ever catch up to. This may be the aquarium here on our left. I think it is. And what he runs past is a lot more important than what he'll ever catch up to. 
He'll never know it though. Living his life wide open. Okay, I'm going to turn it off for right now. I wish that Florida bus would get out of the way. These little scooters are all over town. I guess the city of Atlanta made a agreement with whoever was doing it to license them or whatever. There was controversy about them for a while. Let some more folks get by us. through downtown. We'll be crossing Peachtree, West Peachtree, Piedmont, coming out on the east side of town. Unless we end up, unless we decide to cut over to uh, Peter Street. I like, really like that area. Some good photography over there. The old Peter Street Bridge. That'd be good. I think they had it closed for a while to, uh, renovate it, or to work on it at least. I think up here on the left in that fence, I think that's Olympic Park. I used to know all this. It's been so long since I've spent much time downtown. I just can't remember it anymore. Embassy Suites on the left. Yeah, that's Olympic Park right there on our left. Wheel. Blackbird Media. I've never heard of Blackbird Media. sitting in a wheelchair up here on the left. I wonder if he's still going to be up here. Old bearded man in a wheelchair. I guess it's been I don't know, seven or eight years since I've been by and seen him. If you turn left up here You go past Woodruff Park, I believe it is. Well, I think we have passed the place where the older gentleman was uh, would sit. I didn't see any sign of him. Okay, if you turn left here, there you go. That'll take us right going back down into uh, Inman Park area. If we could, I don't know if we can go through there anymore or not. Maybe not. It's Decatur Street right here. I don't know if it's DeKalb Avenue or Decatur Street. This is Peachtree Street. So we've already come through the intersection of uh, West Peachtree. Coming up on the Georgia, on Georgia State. Let me turn it off. Well, okay, it's green now. Try to start stopping more and getting out and doing some 360s at least with a point and shoot camera, but 
just so hard to find a place to pull over and pay for parking and get out and do this stuff. Just trying to drive slow enough to where you can see anything you'd like to see. Atlanta now, or out of what I call downtown. We'll go down and we'll catch some history markers and hopefully stop. But even if not, maybe I can give you the the history orally. <laughs> somewhere and change the battery. I'm down to 10% on the battery.